Hey everybody, what's up? It has been about a week since I did my last video, and I thought I would show you guys some um, new additions to the Prince of Comics comic book collection um, that I picked up in Hearst, Texas. Very nice place. Uh, I stayed there for about a week visiting family, but um, I got some pretty cool comic books. Some of them I would... I am extremely surprised on the price I paid for them. I'm not a type of person that usually pays a hundred plus dollars for a comic book, or to that matter, I didn't pay anywhere near that for these comic books. But um, yeah, these are to me great finds. Some of them are in a lot better condition than others, but all of them are great additions to any comic book collection. The first one up is I bought for eight dollars uh, is uh, Spider Woman. Hold on, let me get this. Let's see, there we go. There. Sorry you guys, I'm trying not to get the glare. There we go. Spider Woman number one. Sorry, number 135 cent cover. Bought this for eight dollars. Uh, I would say this is about a seven. Uh, about a seven. I wouldn't for being in Texas and in the hot sun, in Texas, and being this number seven. I still think this is a pretty good deal. What I, um, I am, I've heard a little bit about, uh, Spider-Woman, but I haven't read anything of her. I haven't read any of Spider-Girl, or, I think there's a one called Spider-Girl. If not, it's, uh, Batgirl. I know there's one called Batgirl. Um, but this is a very good Bronze Age, uh, issue. Um, you could tell it's just bronze uh 70s and 80s all the way in there it was made in 1978 i believe but um yeah so that was one of them the next one i bought at the same place i bought for four dollars which i thought was a an amazing find uh first of all uh, when i was on the plane coming here or um after i bought this one i tried to take out the sticker on it but then I decided screw it I'm just gonna show you guys um the thing with it on it is the invincible Iron Man number 60 yeah number 60 20 cent cover nice detail a uh, uh, nice detail a little bit round edges uh, a little bit yeah, a little bit round edges, but uh, still a nice color. There's no restoration on it whatsoever, nothing. It's nice and flat, and honestly, when I found this, I didn't care about um, the grade on it, but um, for $4, you can't beat that price. It, no matter what, I am not a big Iron Man fan, but... Um, I do like the artwork in the um, in the comics. That's one of the things I love about um, Marvel is that they usually have great artwork in their comics. But uh, D DC has some good uh, artwork too. But lately, uh, they've been catching up uh, with a lot of uh, uh, fire with their new tw uh, new Fifty Two comic book series um, that they delete not. Deleted. They um, stopped all their current um, comics, and then they started over. I'm not a big DC fan. I only like Batman and a few other titles, but I'm more of a Marvel person, mainly because of Spider-Man and all that. But, um, yeah. So, pretty good uh, one. The next uh, one I got, a lot of people don't like collecting these ones, but... The ones that I, the reason why I am into these is because um, the company that made this was the first comic book I ever read back in two, 
2003, so I would be about 9 years old. So that's about 10 years ago, so yeah. So the uh, one of them is uh, Betty and Me, number 73, I think. 76, sorry. July of 76, number 76. 30 some cover. I would say this is a, um, probably a five at the most. I'm not 100% sure. I don't have my book with me right now. Um, I'm packing for, I'm unpacking for my, uh, for my trip, and I didn't want to pack because it just got home today. Uh, I paid two fifty for, two dollars and fifty cents for this book. Not that bad. I am a big Archie fan. Like I said, um, he is the first comic book I ever read when I was nine years old, and ever since then I've fallen in love with comic books. A lot of people don't like Archie because of the um, because of the artwork, and I go, it's it's part of American history. Archie is one of the ones where it is, where it's for all ages. I think it's not one that like here Batman is um for all boys and sometimes girls um and they had a barbie um kind of that's for all girls archie is for everybody to love and i and that's what i like and they have so many ser different series they have betty and me betty and veronica they have archie and friends archie jokes archie everything they have more and more stuff so um yeah, this one is pretty nice. I got it for two fifty, like I said. Well, not a bad price for a, uh, I believe a let's see, seventy maybe. Yeah, I think it was around seventy, nineteen seventy. The um one of the last ones I got was um another Betty Me one. Number one hundred one. This one I would say is probably a six at most around a six um i also paid 250 for this um yeah the, um you could tell this is early archie stuff because um his because now they have uh him more of a um 21st century per uh, type of character he's no longer in the 50s like that so but this one you could Tell he's wearing a Letterman sweater, and that, if you guys don't re uh, notice that, that is a uh, Letterman jacket before it was a jacket. They used to give, uh, they used to have sweaters, and that was for the original thing where you were on the, uh, where you were a jock, which I think is kind of cool. Now the last one I got was a gift from my aunt. It is a 1939 book, comic book. So, and if you don't know um, how old that is, that was a, it was four years younger. It would be a platinum age comic book. A lot of people don't know what platinum age is. I believe it is 1880s to 1920s comic books. And usually... Uh, they're not books. They're newspaper clippings, and those are extremely rare to find because those were definitely not made to keep. Those were made to read and throw away. Nobody thought to keep those unless you had an amazing foresight ahead of time. But a lot of people don't collect them because they're not rare. They're not valuable. To me, it goes hand in hand. If it's rare, it's valuable, but Somebody goes, oh, I looked up the 10 uh, most valuable comic books online, and 9 out of 10 of them, they would say, is a Silver Age, uh, 30s and 40s. And I go, okay. But I go, what ones are they? Are they Batman, Superman, Spider-Man, all that? Because if they're that, of course they're going to be valuable if they're early issues, like number one uh, issues. Or um, Amazing Fantasy 15. If any of you comic book guys know that, you would know that. Uh, you would know uh, what's in there. So, this one, 
I got for a reasonably good price. I I didn't overpay for it at all. And I think, and this is my oldest comic book, and I think this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. It is a all pictures. Let me see. There we go. All pictures. Uh, comics. Dan Dunn. Secret. Uh. Operative, uh, operative fort number 48 and the underworld gorillas. It's also a flip book, uh, flip the pages and show and uh, see him move. This, I bought this for reasonably cheap, and this is just a remarkable. Sure, it has a lot of, uh, I'm sure it has a damage on it, but what book from the 30s doesn't have? damage on it it's plus it was in texas but and i like it because um because on in the cover it says to billy jack from miss m-i-s-s -S, pauline i don't know who that is but uh yeah this is kind of cool because in here in the 30s apparently they didn't they had copyright, but apparently they used new, uh, Roman numerals. So apparently, we get stupid as we as stupid, or as um, we uh, as time goes on. So, yeah, I thought this was the best find of the whole thing, and it's old. Um, the one thing, the one of the reasons why I got this book is, it came out. The year it came out, it, my grandma was 11 and 12 years old. That's old. And she is 85, I think. Yeah, 85. So, yeah. Uh, the books I got were uh, this uh, Dan Dunn, uh, 1939. Betty and Me. Betty and Me. Another Betty and Me, number um, 101, 40 cents, and then uh, 76 for uh, 30 cents. Iron Man, number 60 for 20 cents. So a nice Silver Age. Uh, and the Spider Woman, uh, number one for 35 cents. Not that bad of a haul for Texas. Not that bad. Stayed a week. Uh, thought it would be a good uh, idea to go down there, and turns out it is. Uh, if you don't like my videos, uh, sorry, can't do nothing about it. Um, watch my other videos, comment, subscribe to my channel, go check out the other YC uh, Cubed uh, YouTube channels and subscribe to them too. The, it is an amazing group, you guys. I hope the people that are watching uh, who don't have uh, YouTube accounts uh, make one and then join the YC cube because it is a, a fastly growing um, community and I hope you guys have fun watching this video and uh, enjoying the comics um, keep reading and like I said before if you don't like my videos nothing I could do bye